Hello, welcome back to Oracle DBA tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about undo management. So let's take an example. You know, basically, what we so let's take a recap of what we have done so far. So in Oracle database, like you know, what you what you, what we have is like. So let's say this is your, um, you know, uh, this is the SGA, and then we have you know this is your data file. So uh, generally, like you know, what we have, we have something called buffer cache. So let's say this is the buffer cache, and also we are going to have a redo buffer. So this is a redo buffer, and whenever we are doing it, and then we have corresponding, like you know, so this is somewhere we have a data file. Just the colors here. So. So we have your data file and also we have your redo log file and also what you discussed we are going to have an undo right so let me just draw this thing so this is my data file and this is my undo and this is my online redo so whenever we are doing a transaction set t1 the transaction T1 is doing a bunch of inserts. Say insert one, insert two, insert three, and so on. So whenever you're doing an insert, we are making a buffer dirty here in the buffer cache. And then also we are generating an undo information. Like right? you know, so for example, if you are doing an insert, the undo information of insert should be delete. Okay. So whatever whatever information that I need, whatever things is required to make sure that this insert is going to be you know reverted back. So in that case. So, so that is what we are storing in in our undo. So, this is for this insert. This is our dirty buffer, and this is our undo buffer. And also, at the same time, we are keeping information on the redo. What is needs to be done so that I can do this insert again? And then, what, when this thing is going on, LG writer is log writer is going to write to this thing, and eventually, database writer is going to write those things to here. So, if this is the situation, and let's say when it's going to write, so the buff, you know, the data buffer, the data, data buffer is going to come to the data file, and then this undo things the old value. Let's say we are doing an update. Say update table t set a is equal to ten. Let assume that a is original value where a is equal to two. So that means this is ten now, and this is two here. The old value is two, and new value is ten. So this two is going to come here to the uh, undo, undo uh, uh, you know, undo area, and then the new value 10 is going to come to the data file. Okay, so this is how this is how it's going to because uh, this is the concept of undo. So if this is the case, so you must be uh, like you know uh, you know ask couple of questions that how big this file should be, you know how what is the space management you know how how do I manage this thing? Definitely, I'm not going to have a file that is something similar to a data file. Okay, so until how much information I can keep here. If you remember that the moment I do a commit here, after I commit a transaction, I do not need any anymore these old values for rolling it back. However, for a long running query or for flashback query, I still need to have the old value because in, in case of flashback query on a long running query, you know, Oracle needs to reconstruct based on the SCN number. Right, so basically, like you know, so so that's that's what like that's why I need still still I need the old values. So that means the goal here is that how big will this file be, okay? And then how big will this file be until how long I'll store these old values? Because if I want to store this you know old values forever, then I should be needing a undo space which is something similar to the data files. Or, or something you know a little bit less than data files but but it should be very huge okay but that is what is not the goal we probably need let's say for example your long running query let's say your lo long running query runs for 15 minutes the, the the longest running query on your database runs for 15 minutes in that case in order to get a read consistent result i need to keep undo up to 15 minutes and that is determined by a parameter called undo underscore retention undo underscore retention parameter is going to give let's say if i give it 20 20 minutes that means 
I expect that my undo elements, undo uh, you know information will be stored in the undo segment for 20 minutes. Okay. So in that case, I, you know basically if I know what kind of database activity is going on, how much undo information I'm going to generate, and then remember that I'm going to store, I'm going to keep the undo information for 20 minutes. That way I can calculate how big this file size should be. Okay. So and then then who is going to create this file? this file will be created at the time of your installation so whenever you are installing the database in the in using a dbca or even if you are in using the oui installer it must have asked you what is the undo table space so if you give undo table space is something say undo ts1 in that case it must have attached to a data file let's say that data file is 1.dbf which is let's say of 10 megabyte so if that is the case then I have my undo so this is my undo file where I can skip track of 10 megabyte of information what happens if I need more than 10 megabyte in that case this is going to be either reuse or it can also be extended okay so that means whenever I'm going to create this undo uh, table space that time it will also ask me in which mode you are going to create this file in a fixed mode or it can be auto extended if it's auto extended it will be start with a minimum say minimum of 10 mb and it can go maximum up to 15 mb in that case like to start with we are going to have a file for 10 mb which can be auto extended based on the requirement so now here is another question to you let's say we are we, we are creating this um, you know we, we are doing this transaction insert one insert two insert three and then let's say we have a undo retention undo retention of say 15 minutes let's say assume that so so let's let's take this uh, you know undo retention is 15 minutes okay undo retention value whatever parameter that you are giving for undo retention does not matter anymore if we are doing a fixed size you know undo segment if your undo table space is a fixed size then you are not allowed to give any undo retention even if you give any undo retention that doesn't make any sense in that case oracle will create its own undo retention based on two things number one the size of the si size of the file and number two is the activity on the database based on this these two things oracle will determine what is the undo retention time and maybe it will come up you know you you give 15 minutes but it it gave that okay i just you know based on these two maybe just only five seconds is uh, is my undo retention okay so so let's say assume that undo retention is 15 15 minutes that means whenever i'm going to have this undo information this information will be be there until next 15 minutes that means this is called let's say at 7 o'clock we do an update okay at 7 a.m we do an update because of that update the old value is going to come and then stay here in this undo segment okay and then so this is the value right now this value is the the status of this area is called it is unexpired until 7 15. after 7 15 this is expired if this is expired then if we need any space for some other transaction to put the undo, undo segments or also undo information in that case it may be possible that we might rewrite this area with the new hello okay so so here's a deal like you know if we are on a undo retention time right so undo retention undo retention is going to give me when when my undo will be expired so after it expired then we can overwrite but what happens if before this you know say, say for example seven o'clock we start our database okay so seven o'clock we start database and a lot of people are doing an update okay and then we are giving that 15 minutes is the undo retention that means at 7 a.m when the first transaction happened for the first update we have an uh, uh, undo Undo, undo, undo information and then 
up to at seven one there's another undo another undo like this is goes goes on okay so let's say what happens is that we, we are going to fill this you know we are going to fill this uh, complete uh, you know in in, in the on the tables in the file if you fill this file then based on this if it is since it's auto extended then it is going to so let's say we, we're going to fill this thing in seven um, you know five at seven five a.m we are going to fill the initial size of the on the segment after that we are going to auto extend up to say 15 mb then we are going to do we are going to still going to fill this thing right so now at let's say at 710 we have completely filled the extended part of the undo then what's going to happen then another transaction is going on it is going to it is need some space to put his information but at this moment we do not have any more space in our undo segment in that case two possibility can happen one thing we can overwrite okay even though this is not expired even though this information is still required because on those retention is 15 minutes and at 7 15 only this is going to be uh, going, going to be expired but what we can do in that case we can overwrite we can overwrite or another thing can happen is that if we enable this table space using undo guarantee okay there's another parameter called undo guarantee if we say that this is undo guarantee is enabled in that case we cannot overwrite so here is a scenario we we are not able to overwrite so here is a transaction say t100 is trying to do something for that you know so this transaction 100 is trying to update something in that case transaction 100 requires some undo space in the undo uh, in the undo segment but however there is no more space and then also we are not allowed to overwrite because we are giving this undo guarantee you know parameter so in that case this transaction will fail because this transaction will fail and this in the the error message is going to be sent to the to the to the to the user who is starting this transaction saying that undo space is not available okay so therefore th this can fail so here is the deal like this we summarize whatever we learned so far so that an undo can be managed in two way one is automatic another is manual and starting from oracle 11g which is always highly recommend you start it automatic and that's the way that i should go i don't want to do it in manual way and in automatic we can have fixed size so a fixed size uh, undo segment or you can have auto extended undo segment in fixed size undo segment undo retention is going to be determined by oracle you don't have you know as a, as a dba or as a oracle you know administrator you don't have any uh, you know you don't have any right to to give the undo undo retention but in case of it's the undo ext undo extended that means if the, if the size can be extended auto extended then what we can do we can have a parameter called undo retention we will retain the undo information you know based on the undo retention time and the second one is that called undo guarantee and if you enable using undo guarantee then we cannot write if if there is no space then the, then we cannot rewrite on the unexpired undo information in that case the transaction will fail